Hello, you are welcome back to my channel. My name still remains Lukman, and today I want to quickly show you how to use, how to configure your indicators, how to set your indicators on MT4 using your phone. And without further ado, let's get into it. <music> Okay, welcome back. The first, uh, this is the chart page. We are exactly on the chart page. And I guess you must have downloaded your MT4 before you can do this. And your MT4 must have been configured to look like this. If you've just downloaded your own and installed it, your chart will not be looking like this. It's actually it's going to be in black and white but this is configuration we've configured this chart and if you want to know how to configure chart the simplest way just check my channel look at the playlist on uh forest and you see that video is very new so it will be in the top now let's get into it so this is what you are confronted with, you are confronted with uh, your chart page. Now, it is indicators. I, and I guess you understand what indicators mean. Indicators are just technical tools that we use to aid us in deciding whether to buy or sell in the market, whether to go long or go short in the market. And if you can see this, uh, candlestick we are using a candlestick chart this candlestick the green here is pointing up and is telling us buy why the red candle here is pointing down this is how it is this is how it is any candle that you see that is moving up like this is a buy candle and anyone that you see that is coming down like this it is sell candle and in our case the green candle is the buy candle the red candle is the sell candle enough of that we are concerned about the indicators if you want to set the indicator the place that you go to is simple you see an f sign here this f sign there's an f sign here you see like a big plus there, like a cross here, a big plus. After that is the F sign. It's like this. That F is like this. So that is what you, that is what you are going to click. So that is where we are going. So just tap on that F sign. See, indicators. You are confronted with that indicators. And there are so many indicators. You can see there is the trend indicators, there are the oscillators, then there is the volume, there is the bill Williams, and so many, so many. If you count everything together, I think there should be more than 50. And on MT4, you don't have all, all the indicators. There are so many indicators, over 100 type of indicators. But just to show us an example of how to set your indicator. So now, let's assume on that trend we want to pick moving average because moving average i think is the most uh popular of all the indicators so this is where you see the moving average you can see moving average that's the moving average so tap on the moving average and you have that and this is what you can see parameters the parameters means period there are so many periods you can have five period moving average you can have 10 period you can have 9 you can have 14 you can have 20 it depends on the strategy to use i'm not teaching you the strategy if you want the strategy then check my other videos what i'm concerned is to show you how to configure the indicators so let us assume i don't want the 14 period and i just want something else i can change this 14 I can change this for 14. You can see 
this uh, key will the keyboard will just pop up then you can just clean the 14 and put five so I just take five and the shift is zero the method and under the method if you click if you tap on this arrow small arrow here this small arrow you can see it so if you tap on it it will give you different options on the different methods we have the simple moving average we have the exponential we have the smoothed and we have the linear width so let's assume we want to use the simple we are using the simple all of them are almost the same but we literally two differences so we are using the simple so it means we are using a simple moving average of the five period okay are you are you are you following me so apply to just put the close don't change anything there then this the pizza here style the pizza here means it's going to show us how the thickness of the line of the indicator so let us just leave it at two two is okay now the color of the indicator is what we want to use you just click on just tap on that color boss there just tap on it then you have colors a whole of so you can pick any color you want and for 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 this uh case let me pick on this uh yellow let me pick on this yellow then i'll just do done you can see done and that is why that is what you have that is the moving average that you see there that's the moving average you can see it you can see it you can see it as yellow let me even reduce that you can see very well you can see that's the moving average so moving average five periods now in most cases if you want to trade using moving average is that you are using two moving average or three moving average so let's assume we want to use two moving average so what do we do we want to set the second moving average just click just tap on the f uh f button again and here now you are confronted with main chart so if you want to add more you just see the f plus you see this is what you have here. once you click on the f plus then you have more indicators just click tap on the f4 hmm? once you tap on the f4 then you'll be confronted with this you still want to pick another moving average just pick on just tap on the moving average all you need to do is here you just change this uh five period just change the five period the key will come out just change it to 10. you can see 10. leave the everything simple close then you can change the color so that you differentiate you have to di distinguish between uh one and the other you know that one is five this one is 10 period so just click tap on the uh color uh, box then let's say you can pick red or blue let's pick uh let's pick red let's pick red and leave the level as it is just click done you must remember to always click done you can see you can see what we have you can see you can see and it's simple if you want to change it you want to change anything all you need to do is go back to that f tap on the f you can see this is the second one where we have we have red i can change the color to something else let me check let me let me change it to blue light blue and i'll click done you can see it has already changed for me so i have the five period moving average and the 10 period moving average now let's go ahead you can still have more indicators you can have five six seven indicators on your chart i want to pick another indicator just click on that then the f plus sign is what you tap once you tap it then let's say i want to pick on that oscillator let me pick uh relative strength index it's also known as rsi this particular one this particular one relative strength index so let me just tap on it and this is what the parameters it is giving us the period is the 14 apply to close style 
let's change the style to like two also then the color let's leave it at that because it won't be on the same window with uh the moving average then the level is 2080 i will show you the level when we click on done once you click on done then see this is our new this is what we have this is our rsi this is our rsi so the 2080 is what this is the 80 this is the 20 and i don't want to go into details concerning that that's concerning strategies is the level is just in your 80 20 depends on the strategy you are trading if it is moving up or if it is over that 80 line it is called over overbought and if it's below the 20 uh, line is considered as over sold over sold over bought and over sold but that is not where we are going just to my own is just to show you how it is done you can see had just one more we can have two more it's very simple just click on this also the f plus and let us choose let us decide to choose stochastic oscillator this one stochastic oscillator you can just just click on stochastic oscillator tap on it and this is what you have but stochastic oscillator is very uh is different from the rsi you can see there is the main under the stars there is the main and there is the signal so the main is uh blue the signal is the main is like green the signal is red and you see that when we get there the levels is also 20 80. you can change the level if you want but i prefer some in some in some in some uh, places you can change this to 30 70. but let's leave it at 20 80. let's leave it at 20 80. so everything leave everything as it is everything as it is just click on done you see okay sorry supposed to be on a separate on a separate okay let's 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 just click on it and let me if i want to if you want to remove it maybe i should show you how to remove if you want to remove there is this there is this uh uh bin here where trash bin there is a trash bin there just click on the trash bin as you click on the trash bin the one you want to remove there is a boss in front of it just click on it stochastic and you click on the trash bin it is gone so let's go back let's go back so this is what we have now what we have now let me see i still want to use that stochastic oscillator let me just click on here and let me pick on stochastic oscillator so everything as it is it is left you can see it is on another uh, window in the chart so this is where it is and this works is almost the same way as the uh, rsi but the only difference is that if you you have two uh two lines there the red and the blue when the when the blue crosses the the red up it means it's showing us it's giving us an indicate indication that we are going towards buy and if it crosses up the blue crosses the red up and turns down is an indicator is an indicator telling us that that is a buy signal so that is a, the essence of indicator is just to show us is a signal just to show us but the main thing is the candle it is the candle is a candle that shows us exactly what is happening in the market because the candle represents the market is that buy or sell but the indicators are there to just show us to give us an indicator to 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 to, to tell us to aid us in deciding whether it's going to buy or it's going to sell so in this video i've been able to show you how to configure your indicator the simplest way if you have never done it just try to do your own now it, it doesn't cost you it doesn't, it doesn't take a lot of your time it's because i'm showing you that is why it's as if it's but make sure if you don't get it the first time 
watch this video over and over and over until you get it because that's the starting point of your trading career so if you have got follow from this uh video consider subscribing just hit the subscribe button it doesn't cost you anything to do that it's free just click the subscribe button press the notification bell so that when next i release videos you'll be the first to, to be notified and if you have subscribed all you need to do is share click the like button and share so that others can also benefit from this until i come your way again remain financially smart and don't forget we can all succeed together thank you